You are watching New York Knicks Now by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Marshall Green. I wanted to try out a new little segment in today's show. As we know, there are always trade rumors surrounding the New York Knicks. And we always ask ourselves, why are the Knicks always attached? Well, we are the New York Knicks. So there's been five players, I feel like, that have been really linked to the Knicks. And we'll talk about them in today's video. Paul George, Carl Anthony Towns, Bradley Beal, Zach Levine, and Jalen Brown. Those seem to be the five guys that continuously get linked to the Knicks so far this summer. And in today's video, I'm going to power rank these trade targets. And the power ranking is going to be of guys that I want on this team. So for instance, let's say if Zach Levine was number five, that would be the guy I would want the least. If Jalen Brown was the guy I wanted the most, he would be number one. But before I give you my list of the power rankings of the Knicks trade targets in today's show, I want you guys to get in the comment section and do the power ranking yourself. Power rank these trade targets and let me know which guys you want the most, which guys you want the least. List them from one to five. For me, the person that I want the least out of this group of players is Carl Anthony Towns. He comes in at number five at my Knicks trade targets power ranking there's a there's a bunch of reasons honestly one the contract is really the main sticking point for me 36 million dollars in 2023 i'm okay with that but i'm not okay with paying cat 50 million dollars in 2024 54 million dollars in 2025 58 million dollars in 2026 and that player option of 62 million dollars in 2027 cat is a good player but he is not $20 million better than Julius Randle. And you guys know, I do not really like Julius Randle. But when you compare the stats, they're really similar players. Carl Anthony Towns, 21 points per game. Randle, 25. Randle has averages two more rebounds than Cat does. The assists per game, about the same. The field goal percentage leans a little bit towards Towns' side, 4% higher than Randle. But the three-point percentage is about the same, and that's really the most... I would say attractive quality of Cat's game is that outside shot, 36% for him, 34% for Randall. The playoffs is a little bit different of a story. Neither of them have been absolutely great in their NBA playoff career. Towns at 8.6 points per game, Julius at 17. The rebounds nodded at 9.4. When you talk about blocks for Carl Anthony Towns, he's at 1.3. Randall doesn't meet that. But Randall averages 3.7 assists, which is more than Towns. The efficiency is where the difference is. 47% from Towns and 34% from Randall, both shooting well below their season average from downtown. Towns at 33 and Randall at 28. Towns is a good player, no doubt about it. I don't know if he's got it here and here for New York. And the more he starts to talk this summer, the less that I like the guy. The guy said that the Minnesota Timberwolves 2022 postseason run was better than Nikola Jokic in the Denver Nuggets. He said he's, I, I, I don't want Cat. I do not want him on this basketball team. I don't know if I want Randall on this team either. So I want you guys to decide if you could have one of these players on the Knicks next year, who would it be type Cat for Carl Anthony Towns or JR for Julius Randall? Today's New York Knicks Now video by Chat Sports is sponsored by NordVPN. Protect your digital world now and get 63% off NordVPN's two-year plan. NordVPN is striving to make the internet better than it is today. It can be free from online threats, censorship, and surveillance. Get your online security package now by visiting nordvpn.com slash nickcs. Get four months for free by using that link in the description and comment section when you purchase the NordVPN two-year plan. Let me tell you all about the features you're going to get with a NordVPN package. You're getting online protection made easy. You can get it done with a single click. Also, my favorite feature, don't miss your favorite content. When you go out of the country for vacation, you can still catch up on all of your favorite content and shows. You get to stay safe from malware and the fastest VPN on the planet. Go to nordvpn.com slash nixcs. And all of this is as simple as a click. Choose your location and get and click connected. NordVPN won't track you or share what you do online. Your data is always protected by next generation encryption. 
Get started now. Click the link in the comments or description. That's nordvpn.com slash nickcs to get four months for free with a 30-day money-back guarantee. I promise you guys could use this in your everyday life. nordvpn.com slash nickcs. The number four player I have coming in on today's power rankings of Nick's trade targets is Paul George, PG-13, the smooth criminal, playoff P. I love Paul George. And if Paul George was 29 or 30 years old, he would be number one on my list. The thing is, he's not. He's 33 years old, and before the end of next season, he will be 34 years old. Honestly, if he was 31 years old, he would probably be number one on my list because the fit is seamless. He's Paul George is one of those players where you could just pick him up, drop him on any NBA team, and he fits in. Because he defends, he playmakes, he can dribble, he's got a good handle, and he can let it fly from all three areas of the court. But he's owed $94.3 million over the next two seasons. He has a player option, not this year, next year. So one guaranteed year on his deal left and a player option. If he was 30, yes. But 33 and owed $94 million on top of the fact that the guys played in just 56 games this year, 31 last year, 54 the year before that, and 48 games in the 2019 season makes me have to put him number four on this list. I think if you all these guys were to be picked by a team for one game, Paul George would be picked first. But for me, the age, the injuries, and the contract land him at number four. Number three, I have Bradley Beal, the scoring guard for the Washington Wizards. Trade rumors really surrounding Beal. And it sounds like Bradley Beal is really probably going to go to the Milwaukee Bucks or the Miami Heat. Both those teams have received permission from Washington to speak to Beal and his agent. And I love the fit of on-court fit, on-court fit of Bradley Beal and Jalen Brunson. I believe, like my guy Alan Hahn, shout out to the Knicks fix, would be one of the best backcourts in the NBA. But like Paul George, age, injuries, and contract are sketchy for me. Beal is 30 years old in a week and a half. And the injuries, and the contract. Let's start with the contract. I wasn't a fan of Carl Anthony Towns' contract. I'll tell you I'm not a fan of Bradley Beal's either. 46 million, 50 million. 53 million, 57 million, and then he'll be 34 years old and a free agent in 2027. Look, the money, if he plays like an MVP, is fine, but he's not really that type of elite player anymore. He's still a really good player. I love the fit. I think he would be great. I think the way that he scores, the way his archetype is built and his shot profile fits really well next to Jalen Brunson. The Knicks need another ball handler. But look, the stats show you the picture. 30 and a half points in 2019 per game, up to 31 and a half in 2020, then down to 23, then down to 23, and he's played in just 90 games out of the 164 contests in the last two years. I think Beal's great, but I think he's a Buck or a Miami Heat. Number two, as much he's number two on my list. I don't think he's a number two on a championship team. That's Jalen Brown. I I feel like my thoughts of Jalen Brown may have led people to believe that I hate Jalen Brown. I don't hate him. I just think he's a number three on a championship team. And I'm not paying a championship, a, a three on a championship team, excuse me, $290 million, which he is contract extension eligible for. I don't think he's even going to get that type of money from the Boston Celtics. I know I've been critical of Jalen Brown. The dude is a good basketball player. There's no denying that. You don't average 20-plus four straight years in a row, and this past year averaged 26.6 points per game, seven rebounds, three and a half assists, and 49% from the deck. You don't make an all-NBA team if you're not a good basketball player. Jalen Brown is that. Do I think he's a little bit overrated? I absolutely do, but I do think he is a good basketball player. But, man, I can't get that Miami series out of my head. I just can't. 19 points per game, 41% from the deck. Everyone trashed Randall. They threw him out. They left him next to the Empire State Building. He shot 41%, the same as Jalen Brown. Thing is, Julius Randall shot 12% higher than Brown did in that playoff series, and they both averaged four turnovers a game, pretty much. But I like Brown. 
I think he'd be a good piece. I think he fits the timeline. My question is, how much better is he than R.J. Barrett? I think he is better by a good bit. But is it worth trading R.J. Barrett three unprotected first-round picks, Emmanuel Quickly, Obi Toppin, and Quentin Grimes, or a combination of those guys? Those are things you have to value out. But he comes in at number two on my list because I like the age, and I like the fit, and I like the game. I just don't love it. And I don't even know if I love Zach Levine, but I like him a lot. I do like Zach Levine a lot, and that's why he is number one on my trade targets list when I power rank these players. I, I, I just think Zach Levine makes the most sense. I, I really do. He's 28 years old. He's been available. He's been linked to the Knicks time and time again. And honestly, I think the on-court fit is probably the best. The Knicks need another perimeter score. They have to have someone else that can score from the perimeter. If you're going to keep, let's say, Julius, he needs space. And if you're going to keep Barrett, he needs space. And if you're going to keep Mitchell Robinson, he needs space. And he's a space killer. So you need someone that operates in space. And that is Zach Levine, one of the best perimeter players in the NBA. Look at the three-point percentage. Hasn't shot less than 37.5% from three in the past four seasons. 25 points per game, 27 points per game, 24, 24.8. And everyone's going to say, but he's only been in the playoffs one time. He's never been on a winning basketball team. You know what that tells me? He's not a number one option. And that's okay. Because the Knicks don't need him to be a number one option. Come to the garden, shoot 37% from three, be efficient, give us 25 a night, and just help Jalen Brunson. And I believe he's not a guy that just plays on ball. I believe he's actually one of the best off-ball players in the NBA. What shows you that right there? 41.6 on catch-and-shoot threes. I can see it now. Brunson drives, kicks, corner three, Levine, bang! Like, the Knicks need a guy like that. They also need a guy that they can run the offense through when Jalen Brunson is off the court. He can do that when he shoots 34.2% on pull-up threes. And around the basket, he's one of the best finishers in the NBA. When it's a less than 10 feet from the cup, 62.7%. And the stat we've been using here at Chat Sports, we call it the PC10. When you add the pull-up, the catch and shoot, and the less than 10 percentage, Zach Levine is number nine in the NBA. He's an elite offensive player. But I get the concerns. I absolutely do. 37, 40, 43, 45.9, 48.9. But you know what? That's the cost of doing business. That's how much it pays, it takes to pay a star. And Zach Levine, he is a star. Is he a superstar? No. Is he an MVP candidate? No. But if you're telling me at the very least Zach Levine can't be a third option on a championship team, you're high. You are. And I think he might even be able to be a second piece on a championship team. Or what if he's 2A and 2B with Jalen Brunson, and then maybe one day you get a player that's better than all of them. That's a damn good team. But I know you're probably saying, what about the knees? What about the knees? Look, who? it doesn't matter because he's shown you he's a durable player. In fact, one of the most durable players in the NBA. Played over 70 games this year, and all you people love Julius Randle because he played more than 70 games. Where's the same energy for Zach Levine, who has played in 85% of games in the last five seasons? We talked about Levine a couple of days ago, and people were like, Marshall, he's one injury away from his career being over. Everybody is one injury away from their career being over. I know that we all want the perfect player. No perfect player exists. Steph Curry, he's small. He's got bad ankles. Giannis can't shoot. Jokic is a little chubby. He doesn't really play defense. Michael Jordan, some called him a ball hog. LeBron James isn't clutch. There are no perfect players. And especially on the trade market. No one trades perfect players. And the way the Knicks have built their team, up to this point, they want to trade for a star. So you're not trading for a perfect player because if said player was perfect, he would not be traded. So stop looking for the next Kareem Abdul-Jabbar in these trades. It ain't gonna happen. So I ranked my Knicks trade targets power rankings, but I want you guys to do it. I had Towns at five, PG at four, Beal at three, Jalen Brown at two, and Zach Levine at one. Now's your turn. I asked you at the beginning of the video. Now you got the stats contract and my thoughts. Don't let me interrupt your thoughts. 
but maybe help, let me help you make your decision. It's your turn. Once again, power rank these trade targets for who you want on the Knicks the most. I appreciate you guys for tuning in to New York Knicks Now by Chat Sports. Wanted to try a new style of video today. If you liked it, let me know in the comments. If you hate it and we should never do it again, you can also tell me that as well. Appreciate you guys, and happy Father's Day to all other real ones out there. Shout out to you guys. Keep being great dads. The youth, they need it. Thank you.